down there. All right, it's Twins TV. They are some of the most extreme pranksters on YouTube. You can go to, it's T-W-I-N-Z TV. And we were gonna, um, you were mentioning this thing you did with the bike. Um, it was a, uh, a prank that, that you guys did uh, where you were actually, you had a, a bike and you, you, are you leaving Ari? No, I'll be right back. Okay. Ari's going back down the fire escape. He's talking to his buddy in prison who he says, I want to put him on speaker box, you guys, but they said it might cut him off and they'd lose his one call. Yeah. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah. The guy just walked up the fire escape. I had no idea anybody was going to come up, but there you go. But, um, so back to your video, explain this one that, that really got a lot of, a lot of, uh, reaction. Okay, yeah, so this uh, what, this one we uh, we took our beach cruiser and uh, we brought it into the hood again. We went down to Inglewood, <laughs> and a nice little park, nice little park where there's uh, supposedly gangs hanging out. And we left we left our bike sitting on a tree and we tied paracord, real small, strong cord, to the, around the seat post and then tied it to the the tree. <laughs> so then when people would come out, they'd see the bike and try stealing it. They'd go taking off super quick. A paracord would swing them right back, and they go flipping over the handlebars. Oh, give, them a little, give them a little taste of karma while you don't steal bikes. Oh, <laughs> and they couldn't see the cord? Is it that thin? Yeah, it's yeah. some little really thin, like, eight-inch eight paracord, and it was a uh, camouflage color, so it blended in pretty easy. And, and so what happened? Oh, man, we had people rack, racking themselves, people flipping over the handlebars, uh... Yeah, it was good stuff. And then we'd run up and ask him how it felt to, to not be able to steal. How to feel to get get hurt while you're trying to steal, buddy. Yeah, weren't you a little worried that somebody might pull a gun on you? Oh, yeah. But we don't really think about those things more, Frank. We just kind of, we just do it. And then if it happens, we try to defuse the situation and hope to God nothing happens. Have you had a gun pulled on you in one of your pranks ever? Yeah, we've had uh, probably at least three times. Anybody shoot at you, actually? No, no. I think mainly just pull it out to scare us. Usually once we start yelling, there's a camera. I don't know if they really, like, they probably think about it. Second thinking. They're like, I don't want to be shown shooting somebody on camera. Right. But, but and, and how do you hide the cameras? Like, like when the bike thing's happening, where, what do you do? Are they little tiny cameras that nobody can see? I mean, explain how that works. No, we have a really nice camera with a long lens on it where we can, like, film from, like, 300 feet away. And, I mean, I would think if, if I stole a bike, not not that I ever would, but, and I'm in Newport Beach where they're so lame they steal surfboards, bikes, they're just idiots. But um, I, I would think if a guy goes over the handlebars and you're shooting him and then you walk up and say, hey, you're on my show, he's going to be pretty angry about that or she. We've only we only confronted like two of them. The other ones kind of just ran off, or just walked off all casual. But uh, the ones that we confronted, they were just kind of like they felt. I think like, they're more embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, they're more embarrassed. Yeah, we're talking to Jason and Michael from uh, Twins TV. They're extreme prank guys. Um, so so don't you have to? Sorry, motorcycles going by on the street below. I'm at West Broadway in Prince, in case anybody knows New York. Pretty ritzy area. A lot of hot chicks, by the way, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, you'd like it. Uh, anyway, but um, don't you have to blur their faces if they don't agree to be on camera? Or on YouTube, is it a different story? No, we, we, we usually get a verbal consent from them. And if they don't give us the consent, then we just blur the face away. Yeah, because I, I saw the other ones. I, we actually have two minutes of one of your um, of one of the, your videos. I think that the farting one, part two, uh, Pat put together. Pat, my producer, is great. Who found you guys? He he put together a two minute um, audio clip that I guess works. Where you explain what happened here, and then we'll run the clip of one of your uh, videos from T W I N Z T V on YouTube and also on Facebook and also on Twitter, right? Yeah, yeah, we're on all the. Okay, so explain explain this farting part two video, and then we'll run the the, the uh, actual audio of the video. Okay, yeah, the farting videos were. I think those were our first videos. We were kind of just kind of working our way into like just doing pranks on YouTube. We we just opened up started the channel, and we were kind of just easing our way in. 
and uh, we got that little fluter thing that makes fart noises, and we noticed that there's a lot of fart videos on YouTube, but nobody was actually, they were just farting by people to get reactions, but we, we <laughs> wanted to take it to the next level and actually go with people and act like we just farted on them. Right, so, you just, you stood right there and, and just were ready for anything, right? Oh, yeah, we're always just ready for anything. You guys Better are ready. Okay, so let's run this. Uh, Di, do you have that handy? Yep. Okay, uh, here it is. Uh, this is Twins TV. You can actually watch this video if you go to their YouTube channel. That number right there, just so. Excuse me? I can't read that number to see what the tire size are. <laughs> huh? What? The fuck? what? Can you not read it? What are you talking about? Get the fuck up. Can you, can you not read it? Get the fuck up my lap. Alright, well it's nice to meet you. No. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Oh, sorry, bro. It's alright, bro. Me? You wouldn't help me know where the bathroom is, would you? I don't know. You don't know? No. Alright. Really? Huh? Really? Kind of being rude about it. You wouldn't happen to know where the bathroom is, would you? Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Is that you? What was that? You have a problem? Yeah, do you know where the bathroom is? Uh, I think so, that's right. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what are you doing this for? Huh? Why are you doing that? What do you mean? Because I'm trying to find the bathroom. Oh, Dude, come on, man. I'm trying to make a call. Why you got to do that? What do you mean? Why are you doing that? Farting on That's pretty funny, guys. We, it's uh, okay. Twins TV. We got uh, Jason and Michael. And anyway, uh, Di, my assistant in the control room, has a story. Is it for all of us here, Di? Uh, well, it was mainly for you, but I just I just wanted to uh, share with you the latest news about uh, Francis Pusak. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that, that's kind of a 180. We'll hang on yeah, to that yeah. for a little. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll talk about that before the end of the show. How's that? This is the guy, you guys. I don't know if you follow the news at all. That that was um, fleeing the scene of a crime in the San Bernardino Mountains on a horse. And he was tasered off the horse and slugged 73 times by sheriff deputies. All right, do you remember that story? Wow, no, I, uh -uh, I haven't heard that. Yeah, that that was not good. So anyway, we'll we'll save that. But um, can you guys hang on? Let's let's uh, maybe we can uh, talk to you for a few more minutes. We got Jason and Michael from Twins TV, and we'll be right back with more of the YouTube radio show. Back with the YouTube radio show with Twins TV, T-W-I-N-Z TV. And uh, there's two twins and and their bro, Jason. And I got one of the twins, Michael, there. And the, the video you guys just put up a day ago has already gotten like 150,000, 200,000 views. Explain what that is, your most recent video. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, the zombie blowing up here one. Um, so, yeah, we did a video uh, about a month ago with my fiance Bree, where um, I was acting like I was, like, uh, blowing leaves and stuff, and she was just, like, an innocent girl walking by, and she was wearing a skirt, and I, I had a leaf blower, and I was blowing up her skirt, and we got, like, just reactions out of guys. But, yeah, that one did really good. It's almost got 4 million views now. How so, many? Like, it's, it's at 4 million views now. Oh, really? Because I, I thought it, for some reason, I thought it had 150,000, or is there a, is there a no, more? No, that's the, uh, yeah, that's the, new, that's the old one that we did, so we wanted oh. to recreate that one, but more of like a Halloween-themed one. Oh, okay, okay, and that's, that's, so that's the most recent one, but the original one's gotten 4 million views, huh? 
Yeah. That that's crazy. Who thinks up of all your your um, extreme pranks? It's just mostly all of us. We just come up with an idea, and then we just kind of, you know, we we tell to one another, and then we just make it bigger and bigger. Just you know, also start just starts out as a little idea, and then it becomes like a. Right now, we need to, we need to go film this thing. When, when what give us an insight? Give us a little tip. Something that that obviously people don't know yet. What's what's your next prank going to be about? Or can you can you tell us a little bit? Or give us a hint? Yeah, our next oh, prank yeah. we're going to film with the Janoskians. If you know who they are, they got um, a little over two million uh, subscribers on YouTube. And what we're doing is we're doing the bait bike prank again, but this time we're doing it because it's like Halloween's coming up, so we're we're going to have like a Halloween theme to it. So we're going to go to the hood again at nighttime, a little bit more sketchier, and we're going to set the bike up, and then um, we're all going to be dressed up in, like, uh, scary characters. Like, we're going to have a chainsaw with the blade taken off, <laughs> and as soon as, as soon as they take the bike and go to take off, we're going to chase them down with the, the chainsaw, and they're going to, you know, pick up speed. Faster than Yeah, I mean, faster. We're going to try to find in the gnarlier heel, too, so we can get these guys wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> and really this is, you're going to... You're... The bar. You're going to do this in the hood? Yeah. yeah. And we're all going to dress up like the Purge. At, oh, at night? Yeah. You could, you could face some guns on that one, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could. And you don't care? No. When we get these ideas stewing up in our brains, we just we don't think about the consequences. We just want to get her, get her done and see what kind of reactions we can get. You know, I'm going to throw on my, my next guest, Pac Millie who is um, a rapper. I, I'm sure he's appreciating hearing this. I want to introduce you to him. We're going to be, he just did a, uh, a song called Duffel Bags with, uh, with Lil Wayne. It's got about a million views on SoundCloud. He's also got a good Twitter presence. I think 40,000 followers on Twitter and I mean, tons of meat, tons of other stuff. Uh, are you there, Pac Millie? Yeah, I'm here, man. Are you, are you listening to what these guys do? Yeah, I'm listening to the prank there. What, what do you think? You you work with a lot of rappers, and <laughs> I, I'm sure you've been in the hood, right? Ah, uh, man, not really. I mean, I, <laughs> but I mean, I know what he's saying. It's like, it's like you just kind of you kind of think of think of something funny, and you just go for it, and you're not really like thinking about you know <laughs> what could possibly happen. Right. That 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 takes a lot of nad, you guys. Well, well, when when am I? I, uh, I don't know if I'll be around for the Halloween one, but can I do one right? At the next one you guys do, can you figure out something for me to do? Oh yeah, yeah, we could definitely do that. Okay, I'm, I'm serious. I want to do it, and obviously I'll put it on my YouTube channel, which won't do much for you guys, but uh, we'll definitely go on the radio and, and whatever you want me to do, I, I'm game. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're actually uh, we're, we're actually gonna film a movie next. Week. A lot of hate. Kind of hate. Yeah. Okay, okay, and and last question for you, and then I'm gonna uh, then I'm gonna throw Pac Millie on and play the song. Yeah, we couldn't play his whole song yesterday because we didn't have time to edit out all the all the swear words for radio. That's the re that's why it was only a minute thirty, Pac Millie, I, which I apologize for. No problem. And and the only bummer was. It had Little Wayne and who? Who is the other guy that's on there? Drum Lord. So, so we heard Little Wayne and Drum Lord, and the only thing we missed out of only playing part of the song was your part, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's why he's back on today. But um, so so you guys, is Jackass kind of your inspiration, or or is that unfair to say that? That's my last question for. Uh, uh, Twins TV. No, not at all. Jackass was pretty much our inspiration. We started out watching like CKY with Sam Argera and then they kind of like involved into uh, Jackass. So yeah, that's that's pretty much where we get all of our inspiration. We just love what they do. We love what they do and we, yeah, it, it, it definitely inspires us to want to go out and try to one-up them all the time. Do you think you've one-upped them or do you think they've, they've one-upped you guys? Uh, no, yeah, we're we're trying to get there, but yeah, those guys are crazy. Yeah, they're crazy as hell. So, but we're definitely gonna with this movie that we're gonna film in November. It's um, no F given. Uh, 
yeah, we're definitely going to try to one-up them, even ten-up them. We're going to do some crazy, crazy stuff. Wow, and you're going to include me in this, huh? If you want to be in it, buddy, oh, yeah, 100%. I... <laughs> yeah, I want to do it. Just make sure I survive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we don't get promises out, but we'll definitely be there doing it with you. So if one guy's going down, we're all going down. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding. You know, I'm. Anybody listening right now, hold me to this. So in November, right? That's when you'll need me. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Twins TV. Thanks for being on, guys. Jason and Michael, go ahead and plug where people can find you everywhere. All right. Yeah. All of our uh, social media is just Twins TV. So, um, Twitter, Instagram. Facebook, Snapchat, Snapchat, it's all Twins TV. And uh, if any of our freaks are out there watching this, what's up, Freak Nation? Freak Nation, baby. guys, Freak Nation. If you don't know what that is, that's our, uh, we have an extras channel where we do, uh, we just film daily, like our daily life. And, um, we just call our, our fans freaks. Yeah, we're freaks, so our fans are freaks. You know, if you like, like the freaky stuff we do, they're freaks too. We're all freaks. Next time we'll have next time we have you on, we'll actually put your freaks on the show. I forgot to take calls. I apologize. That's okay. <laughs> All right, we'll yeah. definitely have you back on, and I'm going to be in there in that movie. I, I hope I live through it. But uh, yeah. thanks for, huh? Yeah, of course. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us, man. Okay. All the best to you, and and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Pack Millie. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to take a break. When we first come back, we'll play your song. And then if anybody wants to talk to Pac Millie, the phone number is 888-909-1050, 888-909-1050. We appreciate him being back on. Also saying hi to our new sponsor, Ocean Honda, a Mission Viejo. For Mr. Announcer, Pat Matthews bought two new Hondas. So it had to be a good deal with that guy's bank account. <laughs> <laughs> 